This is a presentation on how to use Project Control to monitor project duration and cost. The purpose of using Project Control methods is to monitor the progress of a project as it is being completed. Project Control methods can assess the risks of the project by checking the progress of the project against the original plan for both duration and cost. Discrepancies that are identified in Project Control can be addressed. We will use the data in this chart to find various calculations that will help a project manager determine the current status and future expectations of this project. Using the information in the table with the expected and actual durations, this tracking Gantt chart was created. The first three tasks have been completed, indicated by the check marks in the far left column. The blue line in the Gantt chart indicates the actual duration, and the gray line indicates the expected duration of each task. Thus, for the completed tasks, it is visually shown that obtaining the list of patients and sampling patients took longer than planned, while printing the survey took the length of time as expected. To calculate the rate of performance, we will divide the actual work by the planned work. Since only activities A, B, and C have been completed so far, we will only use these activities for the calculation. However, activity C is not part of the critical path, so we will only use activities A and B for the calculation. For the actual work, we add up the number of weeks for activities A and B in the completed duration column, so it is six weeks. For the plan work, we add up the numbers of weeks for activities A and B in the plan duration column, which is three weeks. Plugging in the number of weeks we just found, we see that the rate of performance is six weeks divided by three weeks, which gives us a rate of performance of 2.0 or 200%. Another piece of information that is useful for the project manager is to estimate the project end. This is found by multiplying the plan duration by the rate of performance. We just determined that the rate of performance is two, so we now must find the plan duration of the project. The plan duration is found by taking the total number of weeks of the project and subtracting from that the total number of weeks not on the critical path. The total number of planned weeks is the sum of the weeks listed in the column highlighted in green. So shown here, the summation of the previously highlighted column is 17 weeks. Shown in red, activities C and G do not lie on the critical path, so the sum of their weeks will be subtracted from the total weeks. The total number of weeks not on the critical path is therefore 5 weeks. So putting the two previous calculations together, we can now find the plan duration, which we see is 17 minus 5, or 12 weeks. Now that we have the plan duration, we can calculate the estimated project end. Here we see that 12 times 2 is 24 weeks. So the project is estimated to last 24 weeks, which is actually twice as long as we had expected based on how long it took for the first three activities to be completed. The anticipated delay in the end of the project is a difference between the current estimated project end and the plan duration. As previously calculated, the current estimated project end is 24 weeks and the plan duration is 12 weeks. Therefore, the anticipated delay in the end of the project is 12 weeks. The original project budget is the sum of the costs listed in the final column of the table, which is highlighted in green. This sum comes to $31,500 for the original estimated project budget. The current budget estimate cannot be determined with the information that is provided in the problem. To calculate this, we would need information on how much money has been spent thus far on the project. 
Using such project control methods can help measure performance against what was originally anticipated. As shown with a lack of assessment possible in this example from the lack of knowledge of the spending data to date, it is important to record important project data to evaluate your progress during the project. Using project control can also help manage expectations so that the project team and the organization are realistic about the project budget and duration throughout the project process. I hope you found this example of project control helpful.